Ladies and gents, boys and girls, how are we all doing? Hope you had a good start to the week. Tuesday, the 9th of June, at home workout 78. If you haven't seen our show already, what we have in store for you is three pieces today. Your first piece is gonna see you complete as many reps as possible in three minutes of a coupler, which is gonna be a burpee and a pistol. You're gonna do an ascending rep ladder. So you're gonna do two burpees, two pistols, four, four, six, six, eight, eight, and so on and so forth until you complete three minutes of work. You're then gonna rest 90 seconds before moving on to your next three minute block, where you're gonna complete the same ascending rep scheme and burpees. However, instead of a pistol, you're gonna do a reverse lunge. Once you've hit your three minutes, you're gonna rest a further 90 seconds before moving on to your last piece. Your last piece, again, is an ascending rep ladder across two movements. Instead of doing a pistol or a reverse lunge, this time you're going to do an air squat. Following that three minutes, you're gonna rest a full three minutes, and you're then gonna repeat all of that one more time. So, let's have a look at some of our movements. First movement we're gonna look at is gonna be our dreaded burping, okay? So, we're gonna go chest to floor, feet to hands, jump and cut. Chest to floor, feet to hands, jump and cut. We can scale this one just to a downer. Tall plank position, feet to hands, jump up. Okay, obviously our burpees are present in all three of our sections, and that's how you can scale those ones today. In your first section, you'll see there is a pistol. Now, like many of you, I can't do a pistol, and I've been thrown into the bus by having it in my brief, so we're talking about our scaling option for this one today. You can elevate your foot onto a plate and try and, with the increased range of motion, try and do a pistol like that. If you're still unsuccessful with that one, what we're going to look at today is going to be more of our B stance pistol. So you're going to have this foot behind you. You're going to use this one for support, but you're going to have the majority of the weight going through that front leg. I'd recommend 70 30 or 80 20. You're then going to send the hips back as you squat down and drive up on that front leg. I've just done two for a demonstration, but what we would do in the workout, because they're even numbers, is you'd alternate each leg. So in that first round, we would go left, then right. Then you would move on back to the right. In our second section, after the birthday, we're going to do a reverse lunge. So you're going to have your hands on the hips, you're going to step back to a 90-90 position, light contact, stand to it. We want to control the descent of that movement and gently kiss the floor with the knees. You want to focus on keeping those shoulders up and not just going back down, crashing down and folding over like that. Following that one, our next section has an air squat for that secondary movement. We've done a lot of these, but we shouldn't neglect those points of performance. We have the feet just outside shoulder width, and have soft knees, driving them out, and my hips go back and down, standing tall at the top. What we don't want to see is us collapsing in over or going and trying to speed through the knees like these. All right, that's a knee bend, that's not an ass ball. Okay, so that is our workout piece. We have three components. Each one has two movements and you're gonna be working for three minutes before resting. 90 seconds. Remember, you're going to go through all of that, rest three minutes, and then repeat it. Okay? So that is our workout piece today. How are we going to warm you up? We're going to do 10 minutes of moving, whether that is a run, a jog, a brisk walk, star jumps, skipping, or going out on the bike. We're then going to do three rounds for time. We're going to begin with seven air squats, seven push ups, and then seven down. So, I know we've already touched on the aspects today. Let's have a quick look at those push-ups. If you need to scale these ones off your knees, that's completely fine too. In our setup, we're going to have our hands directly under my shoulders. I'm going to have my a straight line from my head to my heels. I'm squeezing my bum, squeezing my tummy. I go chest to floor, back up. Following your seven push-ups, you're going to get seven down -ups. We've already touched on those, however, I'll give you a quick demonstration again. We're going to go down to a tall plank position, feet to hands, jump. Okay? 
So, you have your whip, you have your whip down. In regards to accessory stay, you're going to complete three sets. You're going to do 10 single leg glute bridge on your right side, 10 single leg glute bridge on your left side, and then 60 seconds in the glute bridge hold. Following those three movements, you're going to rest 60 sessions before completing your other two sets. Let's have a quick look at our movement. So, our single leg glute bridge, you're going to be in this bridge position. You're then going to extend your legs, squeezing your bum, squeezing your tummy as you bridge up and return back down. I'd recommend a brief pause to demonstrate stability and control at the top and then return back down. We only want to go so our hips are fully extended, not extending through our back. You're going to get 10 reps on the one leg, 10 reps on the other, before you go into a 60 second glute bridge hold. This one's going to be both legs on the floor, you're going to have your knees facing the roof and you're going to have your weight in your heels with your toes up. You're going to cross your arms, you're going to bridge up, squeeze your bum, squeeze your hamstrings and squeeze your toe muscles maximally for 60 seconds. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be up there hanging around not doing anything. What's really important is we are maximally contracting throughout that whole 60 seconds. When you do that, your hamstrings might cramp. Okay, so with that in mind, the further your feet are away, the more pressure that puts through the hammies, the closer they are, the more that's going to work your glutes. So, there you have it team. We have our warm-up, we have our workout, and we have our accessories. If you need any more individual guidance, your coaches will be in contact with you. They will serve you best. So, let's get after it team. Fantastic.